I am back. Go ahead and run this mission. The Fallen Idol. I just realized that uh, some of these missions we're doing here too are actually... Um, They are, they're actually part of the DLC missions. Like that last one was a pre-order pre bonus mission. Phelps, Bukowski, you have a new case. Two women, possible drink drive. How was that? The broad says she was doped and that somebody tried to kill her. Where did this take place? That's the bitch you're gonna love. Right across the street. So what? A Chevy Styline took a nosedive off the escarpment, fetched up underneath a Cola King billboard. Up to it, boys. We got bad guys to catch. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. <laughs> See you later, fellas. Try not to work too hard. Fellas. Fellas. I'm just trying to fit in. All right. <laughs> Where's our car? Up there. You know the way. You can drive. Yeah, the bomb took a swipe at me. Put him down like that. Is he coming? There he is. Lead the way, man. face looks familiar. Well, that's June Ballard, <laughs> Tarzan's sister, beast of the Amazon. She's married to Guy McAfee. The captain has moved to Vegas now, but the two of them still have juice. Phelps, traffic. Detective Phelps. Hey, Bukowski. Long time no see. You could have called this in by megaphone, Enrique. <laughs> Phelps, this is Enrique Gonzalez. Enrique was a pretty decent middleweight. What do we have, Gonzalez? Broad drives right through the empty lot and off the side of the escarpment. Her story is that a movie producer doped her and her friend and sent the car over the cliff. Was anyone hurt? Driver's beat up. Not too bad considering if she hadn't hit that billboard, we'd be scraping both of them off the pavement. Passengers are Jessica Damn. Hamilton. She's just a kid. She's pretty knocked around. Kid gonna be all right? I think so. They've taken her to central receiving. If you want to take a look around, stall the ambulance. Thanks. Do that. One more thing. Watch out for the driver. She cuts rough. Hey, out of the way, bub. Uh, if you're looking for the coroner, he's down by the crash site. All right. Advice? This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. Let's go see the coroner. Okay, so down here. Trying to figure out how we can get down there to chat with him, I guess. All right, so you'll want to see this, Phelps. There, laid out on the trunk, and that isn't even the best part. So what next? This is a big scene, Phelps. We need to get our bearings. So it's ripped. Let's go see the coroner. They've been torn off. Where did you find them? <laughs> they were stuffed in the young lady's handbag. I'll run a trace for semen when I get back to the lab. Big case. Come home, blah, 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 blah. Letter from mother. She's a long way from home. License plate. Uh, I don't really know too much, detective. Maybe ask the coroner. Drunk driver? Maybe not. How so? Well, a head I found without a body piqued my interest. See what you think. <laughs> Alas, poor Yorick, I knew him, Horatio. <clears throat> Is it real? <laughs> no. 
I think it's supposed to be a replica of an Indian shrunken head. It's some kind of curio or movie prop. See the casting marks? What's it made from? Plaster of Paris would be my first guess, then painted. So we can rule out the murder angle? No, you can rule that in. That thing was wedging the accelerator to the floor. Whoever did it wanted these women dead. Hmm. Someone managed to tip their ride straight off a cliff. If the driver's in a fit state, we should ask. Nice. That was all the uh, all the clues. Back up top. All right, let's give her a chat. Miss McAfee, we would like to ask you a few questions, if that's okay. I prefer to use my maiden name. June Ballard. You might be familiar with some of my work. Can you tell us what happened here? You're kind of cute for a cop. Maybe a bit on the serious side. What about me, June? I'm a big fan of beasts. Of I don't like. Keep <laughs> out of this. Doping we understand that you're still suffering from the effects of the accident, Mrs. McAfee. The officer says that you claim that you were drugged. Who did this to you? That rat slipped us a Mickey Finn. It's no wonder I feel so dopey. I can't remember. Truth. Who drugged you, Fuck. Mrs. McAfee? Mm -hmm. You really are a cute detective, but a little too naive for my taste. What can you tell us about the passenger in your car? Jessica Hamilton. Poor Jessica. It's been a rough day for her. She's desperate to break into movies. What more can I say? How old is Jessica, Mrs. Ballard? I couldn't say how old Jessica is. Uh. Old enough, sweetheart, as the saying goes. Not going great. Victims drugged, underwear, letter from mother, prop chunk. Okay. You were giving me a thorough going over. I was just starting to enjoy it. We found a shrunken head. It was used to tamper with your car. You see, I normally don't drive off cliffs. The last thing I remember is getting behind the wheel. Doubt. It's obviously some kind of movie prop. You must know where it came from. In case you hadn't noticed, I am the talent. And the talent doesn't deal with props or sets or any of that kind of stuff. Why don't you ask Mark Bishop which prop house he uses? Mark Bishop. You mentioned a Mark Bishop. You think he might have had something to do with this? He is a movie producer. As for his involvement, you just leave it to me and my husband to worry. I want to know what happened between you two that made him want to commit a double murder. Bishop offered me a part in his picture. Then he withdrew it. Fact is, we had a deal. I pressed him on it. And this is where I end up. Mrs. McAfee. Two out of four. Everyone's best interest. <laughs> Fifty percent. Patrolman Gonzalez back Damn. to the receiving hospital. I'm being taken in. You could say that. On what grounds? On the grounds that you are under the influence of narcotics and that you are withholding information from the police. My husband is going to want a word with you, Sonny Jim. I think we're good here. Let's go see what we can shake out of the kid. 
Interview Jessica Hamilton. I want to see. Excuse me, officer. I want to see. Oh. Y'all seem to be standing around. Shouldn't you be working? You know the way. You can drive. Control receiving right. hospital. Where to? Good. Alright, so we didn't get much information out of uh, First Lady other than some, but let's see if this one goes any better. Central Hospital receiving. Hello, Detective Phelps, here to interview with Jessica Hamilton. Jessica Hamilton. Oh, yes. She's in the room, right behind you, detective. How convenient. <laughs> you can't hold me here. No, I really don't better need since to be handled by a doctor. I need my lawyer. My head hey, still feels Where sweet. is the telephone? Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Hello, Jessica. Uh, my name is Cole Phelps. I'm a policeman. I'd like to talk to you about your accident, if that's okay. Um, okay. If you have more questions, could you ask them now? All I want to do is sleep. Not much help. Oh, I wanted to check some stuff over here first. Evidence of uncomfortable. Abuse. Just standing around here looking at me, not saying anything. Okay, that's what I wanted to do first. Alright, so crash incident Can you tell report. me what you remember about the crash? It's all kind of fuzzy. I remember waking up here. Nothing happened yesterday. Why? Tell the truth, Jessica. Why the big cover-up? I'm not lying to you. What about this? We found your underwear in your handbag, Jessica. You need to tell us what happened. The doctor told me what happened. I... I didn't want that. I just wanted to be a star, to be in movies. I told Junie what happened, and she told me to toughen up. But that was the price of stardom. Did she now, cold-hearted bitch? It's not Junie's fault. It's not my first time. I had a boyfriend back home, but my father found out about him. Even if you consented, Jessica, you're still underage. <laughs> Contact you need with to get parents. in touch with your parents, Jessica, to tell them what has happened. Oh, you don't need to worry them. They sent me along to stay with Aunt June. They trust her to take care of me. It's obviously a lie because... You're lying, Jessica. We found the How note. How are we going to make this right if you lie to us? Please, Detective, why would I lie to you? Because your mother gave you a note. Because saying you're otherwise mother, Jessica, and you don't have your parents permission to be here now do you want to tell me what really happened <laughs> i went with junie to this strange place it's difficult to remember someone gave me a drink to calm my nerves and then i felt faint i think i must have passed out how did you meet mr bishop well junie is a big movie star you probably know that she's doing a new movie What's the story with Bishop and Mrs. McAfee? Why does he want the two of you dead? That can't be true. Mr. Bishop seemed very happy today. I mean, yesterday. And that's why he wedged a shrunken head against the accelerator pedal and punted the two of you over an escarpment? I overheard Junie speaking to him on the phone a couple of times. Screaming, really. She can be very hard sometimes, Junie. But they seemed okay yesterday. Like they worked it out. I know what happened to you, Jessica. Where exactly did it take place? Please, it's scary. It's really difficult to think of anything. Yes. 
someone tried to kill you, Jessica. Do you get it? Forget about being in movies. It's time to act like a girl. Uh, I had to wear a robe and lay down on a stone. There were lights, a camera. It's not my fault. I'm not a bad girl. Why are you trying to hurt me? Thank you, Jessica. You've been a big help. Three out of Give four. Card. If you think of anything, the wrong answer, help, just get in like, touch, ding, okay? is so devastating. Okay. It's like so devastating. It, it hurts. Be a good idea if you went back <laughs> home till you felt better, Jessica. I couldn't do that, officer. What if I got the part and I wasn't there? <sighs> it's the tale of this town, Cole. Lambs that go willingly to slaughter. Who the hell is that? Must be her lawyer. He certainly expedited her release. I don't like it, Cole. Why is she in such a hurry? We should follow her. There she goes. Come on. Tail the suspect. Teal car, right? Too close, Phelps. Way too close. She seems to have made a remarkably speedy recovery. Greater movie season. Oh, God. Okay. We're good. We're good. Am you left the door open? Get in there open. and see what she's up to. Yo, yo, what's going on, bad? How you doing, man? the cafe without being seen. Kind of hear it. Still, no people out here, don't you? Then make some calls. I'm gonna be very clear about this. You get this done, or I'm Wilson's Hotel. Mr. Mark Bishop, that son of a bitch, lives in apartment 803. Sure, I caught the film. He hidden. Investigate Bishop's apartment. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Uh, where are we going? Bishop's apartment. So what's the story? I'm guessing she didn't stop for light refreshments. She made a call. Sounds like Mark Bishop has a heap of trouble headed his way. I've got an address. Wilson's Hotel, apartment 803. Oh shit, you better step on it. If he's got any sense, he'll be as far away from home as possible. If he had any sense, he wouldn't have tried bumping off Guy McCaffrey's wife in the first place. Or he'd done the job properly. McCaffrey will break a fella's legs just for looking at his broad. What did you make of the kid? You believe her story? I think she was doped out of her tiny mind and given the casting couch. That fucking bitch Ballard sold her out. Mm. So if Ballard was doing someone a favor, why did they try to kill her? All units 
in the vicinity and call 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park. 11K, code 3. All other units, code 2. KGPL clear. Roger, KGPL. 11K en route. All units in the vicinity and call 11K, 11 King, a 415 in progress at apartment 803, Wilson's Apartment Hotel, 1220 West 7th Street, Westlake Park. 11K, code 3. All other units, code 2. The car won't move. KGPL clear. Hey, yeah, gal. So it's happening at the same apartment that we're currently going to. Bishop's apartment, 10 a.m. Graphics for this game was amazing when it first came out. Now it came out, not so much. Yes, yeah, same, dude. Literally same. I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment. I mean, like they're okay, oh, the detectives. but listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Sometimes take the it's elevator like, and then left down the corridor. It's a it can be pretty list. noticeable, especially like with the hair and everything. It's all because they tried using the uh, the uh, whatever it was motion Sounds screen. Like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. This game's also locked to 30 frames. Like right now, I'm playing it in. Uh, they said 802, right? Or was it 803? Here it is. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm all right now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess! We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I, I will. Thank you, officer. Was a ring? Nope. Incidental. Some lipstick. Take a smarter man than me to connect that. <laughs> Check. Twenty thousand dollars. What do you have to do to earn twenty thousand dollars? That's still the same check. New Testament. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Money. This doesn't pertain to the case. Junk. Rude. <laughs> Downtown. Great Wall of Babylon, a replica of a replica. This isn't what we're looking for. Los Diablos. Everything here is going to be relevant. Probably nothing. Music still playing, so there has to be some more blues. Looks like a mermaid in the background. Silver screen. Who are these men in the picture? 
My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood, they work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Maybe if... No. There's the set. Hollywood's own little piece of Babylon. Hmm. Any ideas? Now all we need to know is who were those goons and why were they tearing up the floorboards in here? Ask Mrs. Bishop. There's got to be more clues then. Because the music's still playing. Seems irrelevant. Circumstantial. Can we investigate the check more? Not sure this means much. I don't know, man. Oh, here we go. Presented to Mark. Gay Cowboys to Mark Bishop. There it is. All right, man. Now we can have a chat. Domestic Those disturbance. Men, I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. <laughs> She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Doubt. It's either doubt or truth. Doubt. June Ballard said she had a deal okay. to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> now we have all these questions. Where can we're we find your husband, ship. ma'am? Bishop. He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Truth. Either we find him or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him, but I don't really know where he'd go if he were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Check Why for is your 20, husband 000. paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? Uh, yeah, we found the check. You're lying, Mrs. Bishop. It's some kind of payoff. You know exactly what the money is for and who it's getting paid to. Do I? Would you like to prove that, detective? Uh, no. I don't think I can prove that. If you don't ask, you never find out. <laughs> but I'll doubt. Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. 
abuse of Jessica Hamilton. Your husband Hamilton. was at a casting yesterday with a young girl? Not that I know of. He told me he was looking at locations. The picture's been cast. Doubt. Jessica remembered a mermaid. The mermaid on the front of the prop store. You better come clean with me. This is a sick town, detective. Are you sure you really want to know? The truth is, my husband likes them young. And you think that's okay? Whoa. I was 16 when I first met him. I thought he was a genius. A magician with film. I was 20 before I realized he was just a B-movie hack. But he's nothing compared to some of the monsters at these big studios. My guess is, Ballard sacrificed her little friend. Happens to a lot of girls. Oh, he's really going down now. Your husband is in trouble. Four out of four, though. It could go for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Use the telephone. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Just a moment. Silver screen props, corner third and Figueroa. Thanks, ma'am. Thanks, Siri. <laughs> All right, to the elevator. Hop inside. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, a wife. Finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. And from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. Can you drive to this one? Silver so screen props. Go? Set his destination. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Eh, you think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet man redecorated her apartment? Maybe she's just loyal. True. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Well, she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and the cat. They're going down. We're almost there for the, uh, the next, uh, assignment, which is pretty cool. Silver screen props, 10.32 a.m. All right, let's head inside. Hello, hello, anybody here? Whoa. Phelps and Bukowski, LAPD. We're investigating the attempted murder of June Ballard and Jessica Hamilton. Oh, Christ! I'm Marlon Hopgood. How can I help? You hold castings here? How'd you hear about that? I got a little soundstage out back. Lead the way. We're looking to audition. <laughs> A giant bear right when you walk in the door. It's got all sorts of stuff here. Hmm. Keep him here, Stefan. I'm going to take a look around. What's this got to do with me? Don't try my patience, knucklehead. Damn, let's go hostile. Turn off the lights, Hopgood. Why would I want to do that? Humor him. One way mirrors. There's a room on the other side. 
Huh. Well, well. Find a way into that peep den, Phelps. I'll stay here and keep our pervert company. It's the same one. Or similar, at least. Wait, actually pick it up again? What is wrong with these people? We got some real good evidence on you right now. is any use to us. Where's the secret room at? So, that looks very suspicious. <laughs> Bishop pictures. Jungle drums. Eighth and Francisco. Attention, Mark Bishop. Jessica Hamilton. Oh boy. They fucked up. So what happened to the Empty. fellow Hamilton screen test? If they saw this, how many budding starlets would still get on the bus to come to Hollywood? Oh boy. The mirror in the bathroom, too. Yo. That's messed up. Look at all these films, man. Didn't find all the clues yet. Check this uh, sword again.
check over here. Okay, well, obviously he makes them. Dope flood streets. Cops chase war surplus contraband. Listen, I uh, have to call you back. I got some business here. Sit down, Courtney. This is Mickey. Mickey, this is Courtney Sheldon. What would you like to drink? Scotch. Straight up. I hear you're back at school learning to be a doctor, kid. Yes. That's right, Mr. Cohen. You want to be a doctor and a dope peddler. Interesting combination, huh? Do we have a problem, Mr. Cohen? We might have, yeah. Selling your dope to my boy Lenny looked like a good move, but Lenny has been supplying uh, wholesale, so to speak. The Bindle boys in this town aren't used to the juice without a little of the middleman taking his cut. Lenny promised that wouldn't happen, Mr. Cohen. And Lenny works for you. What can I say about Lenny? Let me think. Oh, yeah, he's a putz. And he's lazy, and he's greedy, but he's my wife's brother. <laughs> and how can you make a cake with those ingredients, huh? Fish. <laughs> Fish. Uh, so how is that my problem, Mr. Cohen? Well, kid, the only way we're going to be able to make this work is to do some repackaging. We need to get the dope out of those dinky little cardboard boxes and... Surrettes. Yeah, surrettes. Great. We can put it into a big vat so we can water it down a little. I won't bore you with the chemistry, but it doesn't work that way. You're likely to kill even more people. Okay, listen, we want to buy you out, kid. I'll offer you 50 grand. Hey, hey, you don't like my offer? Sheldon kid? I think I want him dead. Oh boy. <laughs> Don't mind me just knocking everything 